You know, I've been sitting here thinking, have you folks heard what's going on lately? You know, over the last few it's days, just ridiculous. we have seen uh, clearly what's at stake in this election. Uh, the news from Wall Street has shaken the American people's faith in our economy. The situation with Lehman Brothers and other financial institutions is the latest in a wave of crises that have generated enormous uncertainty about the future of our financial markets. But this is serious. This is a major threat to our economy and its ability to create good paying jobs and help working Americans pay their bills. Just investment banks failed or have been sold off in distress. Yesterday, Wall Street suffered its worst losses since just after 9-11. You know, it's really funny. You stand there with that sign that says, change we need. We need change. I think somebody ought to write a song about that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try a song that I haven't done before. Not live. You know, the way the economy is nowadays with people losing jobs and everything going on. I, uh, I kind of wrote this song. It's called I So I'm gonna try In this modern day rat race that we live in, it's a wonder we all can survive. Make a living each and every day, punching the clock from nine to five. Getting up every morning just to go to work, work our lives away. Only to meet the financial burden of the bills we have to pay. The interest rates are rising and the stock market's coming down. We you know the little saying that we always use, what goes around comes around. What's happened to that simple life, the one I love? So well, it's long gone, but not forgotten. This economy has gone to hell. If we have to elect a president, why not Larry Curly and Mo? I owe, I owe, it's all the work we go. Success is measured by what we've done, only our material things. A big old house and a fancy car and all those diamond rings. Lisa Master, Discover Shell, all those credit cards. And don't be home without American Express, it makes spending your money hard. And for those of you who have a shiny degree plastered on your wall, we'll take it to the bank and see what it's worth when the stock market starts to fall. What's happened to that simple life, the one I love so well? It's long gone, but not forgotten. This economy has gone to hell. If we have to elect the president, why not Larry Curly and Mo? I owe, I owe, it's all the work we go. the house in the country just to get away from city life it had to be a big old mansion just to satisfy his wife she said well what will all of our friends say if we don't have a den and we have to have a three-car garage just to park our lincoln's in well he worked and slaved his life away just so he could pay for that big old house and them shiny lincoln's that put him in an early grave What's happened to that simple life, the one I love so well? It's long gone, but not forgotten. This economy has gone to hell. If we have to elect the president, why not Larry Curly or Mo? I owe, I owe, it's all the work we go. I owe, I owe, it's all the work we go.
dollar is going to collapse, I think that the dollar is in for another decline, similar to the one we had in the 1970s, only this time it could be worse, because the monetary policies are worse, uh, the fiscal problems are worse, uh, we're in much worse shape economically than we were in the 1970s. More than 4,000 properties were foreclosed on in Toledo's Lucas County last year. This year, it could be worse. There's a county clerk whose full-time job is typing up and sending out foreclosure notices. Tomorrow morning, this will be a bad place. Elected officials are saying Toledo is not in a recession. It is a depression. Paul Fogel, where's that dollar? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's my favorite dollar. I'm in your favorite dollar. I raised it from a cent. Now, cut it out. Peter, I have to tell you, uh, well, first of all, let, let me go here. Right or wrong, it is the Fed and the politicians and these banks that have caused this mess, and now they're trying to explain to us how to fix it. They don't know how to fix it. They caused it. Of course, you know, whenever the government creates a problem, their solution only makes the problem worse. Right. But, you know, it, it goes to the very core, the very foundation of our economy. It's not simply a financial crisis. The problem goes to the fact that our economy is based on borrowing money to consume. And we have to go deeper and deeper into debt so that we can keep consuming. Our lives have been changed drastically by decisions made by others. 401ks, that little nest egg we were counting on for retirement, out the window. The interest rates we could once afford, suddenly through the ceiling. The homes we thought would be ours forever, foreclosed on because we put our trust and money into someone's hands that turned around and slapped us in the face. We Americans are hard workers and we don't like being down and out. So at this point, we start making things right. We start taking names 